Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to start a confer zoom meeting inside of Canvas. And be aware that this might not work. Um, districts working on creating confer zoom accounts for all faculty across the district. And I've heard there will be providing instructions on how to get those working. Um, but if it is working, this is how you are going to conduct a conference using confer zoom. So you're going to enter Canvas and click on a course site. And then you're going to select Confer Zoom on the left in the course navigation list. And here you have multiple options. You can click Schedule if you want to schedule a Zoom meeting in advance. Or if you've already told your students the date and time, you can come into this confer zoom area on that same date and time and simply select quick launch uh, either method will work um, for schedule you can name it uh, designate if you want to repeat it every week at the same time uh, work out the time and the duration etc and then save it here or like I said before, the easy way to do it is just let your students know to click on Confer Zoom at this date and time, maybe every week, and then select the blue Quick Launch button. So I'm going to do that for this demo. From here, you can rename it if you'd like, or just leave it, and then uh, pick the duration that you think this meeting will last. So this is just a demo. I'm only going to pick 15 minutes. Most of you will be in the one to two hour range, so give yourself a little extra time if you think it's going to go longer. Now it's going to uh, open up Zoom, so you must have Zoom installed on your computer. If you don't, it'll, it'll let you know that you need to install Zoom and it'll give you methods on doing that. So, um, But it should, it should just open right up. It's going to first ask uh, how I want to join my audio. Um, I, you can test before you join if you want. You can click test speaker and microphone to make sure it works. And that's a good idea. So I can hear the ringing. It's giving me a ringtone. I can hear it in my headphones. So I know that I can, I'll be able to hear. So I click yes. And then what I'm going to do is uh, speak. And then it replays, it gives me an echo of what I'm saying. And if you hear that echo, you know that your microphone's working. So then you can select yes. And then uh, once that's all looking good, you click join with computer audio. And I'm going to click it again here. As a backup, if your audio just doesn't work, you can always click on phone call and dial into the meeting and you can talk over the phone into the meeting. Use your phone as a microphone, just as an option. But for now we're gonna assume everything's working and click join with computer audio. It says I'm using computer audio. Make sure that uh, down here in the left corner, uh, make sure it's not muted. I believe I just have mine set so it's muted automatically when I join a meeting. But if it's if it's got a line through it, your students won't be able to hear you. So you want to unmute it. So now uh, students will be able to hear me. So you have a, a lot of different options. Um, also one thing I wanted to mention is definitely communicate to your students beforehand that you're going to have a conf uh, web conference and confer Zoom. Give them directions how to get there. Give them the date and time. Uh, Canvas is not going to send them an invitation automatically so you'll want to uh, communicate that to your students beforehand and and students will simply I'll show you the student view students will simply after they get your announcement or email they'll proceed to your course and click on confer zoom and you'll see um, this is what the student is seeing here so she can click this join button and then it'll go through much the same thing it'll test her audio and webcam if she has one 
And if she doesn't have Zoom, it'll it'll uh, tell her how to download it. It'll help her get connected. So now back to the meeting. Uh, it's going to by default. Actually, it's going to by default show whoever's in the meeting and whoever's talking. I'm going to actually connect to this meeting as the student on my cell phone, just so you have a an idea of how that would work. So if the student goes through their Canvas student app, they're actually able to connect. And they also have to have Zoom installed on their phone if they're going to do this. It's a free install. Um, but basically, the student's going to click in the course and then scroll to where it says Confer Zoom down there. Click on Confer Zoom. And it's going to show a tiny, <laughs> a tiny image. They'll have to zoom in. But it's basically that same Join screen. So then they can click Join here. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you what it's going to look like and the different options when a student has connected to the meeting. So now it's asking uh, if I want to join with video. I'm going to click the blue button to say join with video. Some of your students aren't comfortable being on video, so they won't do it. But uh, there it is. It's working really great. What you're seeing is um, the student, which is me, but via my cell phone. So uh, if you want to see a better view, the view I like, if you put your mouse over the Zoom meeting, up in the upper right corner, you have this gallery view um, button. And that's going to give you a better look at all of your students who are in the meeting with you. And the reason I wanted to show you uh, this is because there may be some cases where you want your students to actually take control of the meeting, share their screen, share their presentation. And if you're in this gallery view, you can easily click on the student. You see these three buttons here in the student window. I can click on those. And I can actually make my student the host of the meeting. And then they will have access to all of the bells and whistles at the bottom where they can share their screen. Uh, that's the main one they, that they would be doing. Uh, and don't forget, if you're going to start up these meetings, uh, once, you, once everyone's joined, you'll want to record it so that you can that students can access it later in Canvas especially if they weren't able to attend the meeting maybe they had technical difficulties it's always a good idea to record it and so I'm gonna click on the record button and it's going to connect and record hopefully there may be some issues with um, some of the functionality just because so many people is being recorded. Oh, so many people are going to be uh, online at once trying to do this stuff so just keep that in mind there might be some technical issues um, prepare for that practice these meetings beforehand so you get a good handle on how to use the software and then maybe have a backup plan um, conference call email uh, post, a, post a, a recorded lecture in canvas those are other options you can use but now that we're in the meeting, um, and if, if a typical lecture might include a PowerPoint or sharing some sort of res resource, that's what this share button is for. Uh, before I do that, I would just want to alert you to the chat feature. If you click on chat, uh, it, it expands to this uh, chat window on the right. And this is another way that your students who, who, again, might not be comfortable or might have technical issues connecting their microphone, for whatever reason, they can type a message here, type a question in here, and that's a, an alternative way for them to communicate uh, in the meeting to you. I'm not going to go through every feature. I just want to give you the basics here. So um, back to the share button. Again, this is probably what you're going to be using. So you can click on share, and then it gives you all of these options. So I have a whiteboard I can use. I have every single, there's an iPhone via AirPlay option here. There's uh, my email. Any, any application that you have open is going to be an option here. So if you have the PowerPoint open, that's this might be a quick way to get straight to the PowerPoint that you have open. 
but most of us are just going to share our desktop. So I have uh, desktop one, that's what I'm gonna click on and then click this blue share button here. And now uh, you're seeing and your students are gonna see uh, this whole share area here. So this is my entire desktop being shared. Um, and at this point I can open up a PowerPoint if I wanted to, if I could, you can have it opened hopefully before you start the meeting, but um, you can open up a PowerPoint here and then your students will see the PowerPoint and you can talk over top of it. Um, be aware that the little window that shows the webcams, that might cover up some important information. Um, I'm not sure if there's any way to get rid of it. I can try to move it off the screen, but we'll see if it actually moves off the screen. So now you can go through your lecture, um, through your PowerPoint, and narrate it. And if your students have questions, they can ask you. Uh, note that when, when you're doing a, a screen share like this, you're not going to see the chat window that we talked about earlier. Uh, so you want to tell your students like you can write questions in the chat and I'll get to them after the presentation something like that or if they have their microphone connected and if you're comfortable you can say just just interrupt me and ask a question if you have any questions so once you're uh, finished with your um, presentation you can go up to the top and click on stop share and that's going to return back to the webcam view of you and your students and um, from there, you can wrap it up in the meeting, answer any questions. If, uh, if a student wants to just chat kind of off the record, you can stop the recording or pause it. And you can even say, like, all, all, after, the, after the presentation, if you guys want to stick around and ask me questions, we can do that. If it's not part of your official lecture that you want recorded, you can always click Stop Recording here which is what I'm going to do right now. I'll stop this recording. So I'm just stopping the recording of the Zoom meeting. So I'll click yes and it's going to tell me that I'm going to receive an email when the recording is ready. The recording has stopped. And it actually gave me an audio. Uh, a robot just told me that the recording had stopped. So hopefully this is uh, helpful. Once you've ended the meeting, um, you can go back into um, Canvas. Let's see, I'll try to bring up Canvas here. And what will happen is you'll see if you click on event recordings you'll see the the event like here here it is here's the the recording I just made it's gonna take a little while for um, zoom to actually upload this and process this recording um, right now it says no recordings exist but again, if you wait a, a maybe 20 or 30 minutes, depending on how long the presentation was, a recording should pop up here. So it'll pop up there for you and your students. And in the email, let me see if I have an example of an email. Um, in the email, there will actually be a link where you can, I believe, download the video. Uh, it's a little hard. I've been getting a ton of videos so, or a ton of emails. so. Um, I'm not sure where I can find that one, but uh, you'll basically get an email with a link to download your Zoom meeting, which you can then, if you want to make it easier for students to access, you can upload that to um, YouTube. The good thing about this check for recordings area is that um, if you go through this Canvas Confer Zoom, I believe they will subtitle and your, your video after it's been recorded. So that's a good feature if you have students that need that um, extra uh, layer of accessibility. They'll have a transcript for everything that was said in the meeting, in the lecture. So I do like that feature. I don't believe you would get that feature if you're using an outside Zoom account. You may have a personal Zoom account. Uh, those accounts are usually limited to um, you only have 40 minutes of, of time. Um, but if you do have this teacher account, inside of canvas it will give you the extra time and those other features i talked about with the transcript so i hope this was helpful i had to do it this way i couldn't actually do this in the in the share uh, because uh, uh, 
Canvas won't allow, allow us to open up two Zoom meetings at once and, and share them. It's a little tricky. So I did it this way. Uh, hopefully you'll get something out of this video. Thank you for watching.